Dear friends, partners and supporters of Alabaster Jar, Today I would like to bring you up to date on some important developments from the past few months and to share how we believe God is leading us forward in 2021. Over the past years at Alabaster Jar, we have served and built relationships with hundreds of different women through our cafe, street and brothel outreaches. Together we have strengthened the work, creating processes, structures and strategies in an attempt to ensure the long-term sustainability of this ministry. It has truly been a labour of love and it has been my joy to serve alongside so many generous and gifted individuals who've invested hugely to make the work what it is today. Throughout the many challenges and victories of the past years, our end goal has always been and will always be to see lives transformed and dignity restored. The women we serve are our top priority. They are the very reason we exist. And over the past three and a half years that I have served as the director of Alabaster Jar, it has become increasingly apparent that although the work has developed significantly, the needs of the women are simply too complex to address effectively on our own. We have sought the Lord in prayer asking again and again, how can we best serve the women? And God answered. He answered by giving our team of staff and volunteers a new vision for the future. We began dreaming about new and creative ways of how we can best support the women and bring lasting transformation to their lives. And at the same time, God was telling us to trust him. We did not know how or when these dreams would become a reality, but we did know that God would open the right door in his timing. And that is exactly what he did. In October of last year, we were approached by Samaritan's Purse, an international organization with the same heart to see lives transformed by the gospel of Jesus. With great respect for our work, they made us an offer for Alabaster Jar to come under the banner of Samaritan's Purse as the Alabaster Jar program. Of course, our team's first response was to pray. As an association, we made sure to do our due diligence and after many months of visits, conversations and prayerful consideration, we have decided to say yes to this opportunity. We believe that this decision is in the best interests of both the women and the work as it will enable us to serve them with much greater capacity. Trusting God, we know that we can move confidently into this new season and we are so excited to see what these next steps will mean for the women, for our team and for the longevity of the work. So what's next? Well, as ever, we cannot do this without you. Your support is absolutely vital. We would like to ask you to continue to support this work in prayer and financially by becoming a partner of Samaritan's Purse as we take this important and courageous step. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us and one of our team would be very happy to connect with you. Thank you again from all the Alabaster Jar team. We are so grateful for your support and we hope and pray that you will continue on this exciting journey with us.